Hey, look, whoa. Nice start to an episode. My goodness. Hello, guys. <laughs> Sorry for that bit of a cut up in terms of an entrance. Um, we're going 93 here, playing more Pokemon Sacred Gold Hemilock Challenge. And uh, last time, um, I believe we were doing some training after we left from the Bellsprout to Bellsprout Tower. Bell Sprout Tower? Sprout with bells? And there's a tower involved? Um, yeah, so last time Kokesh evolved into a Jolteon. I chose to do that. Uh, we also got Mambale, our weeping, or uh, what is he called? A. What were you called before? A Wimple? Yeah, a Wimple um, turned into a beautiful eye. Also, Kodachi um, finally evolved into a Kolava, and uh, I did some grinding as you see. Everyone's level 17 and Kofesh is level 18 because he is possibly going to be the most useful Pokemon we're going to need for this episode. Hopefully he comes through for us because we're going to be fighting Faulkner. And if you don't know this challenge, you know that all the gym leaders have six Pokemon and they are a pain to get through. But hopefully we won't have much trouble and uh, yeah, it'll be alright. Now I could get Rock Smash to get through this wall. I don't remember what I get behind there. Can't be any worse than, uh, I don't know. Um, so I haven't used this Pokemart. So this Pokemart is still free to me. And if you don't remember my rule for Pokemarts, I can only use one per town. And also the, all, the uh, total amount of items I can actually get from them is five items in total. So... I have not used the Pokemon here. I used the Pokemon in Cherry Grove. And I have six potions, one antidote, one paralyzed heal, seven Pokeballs. And uh, that's what I'm working with right now. How many? Oh, I said, okay, I have seven Pokeballs. So, also, I have not got my encounter for Route 32. But I'm saving that for the end of Falconer fight because they're. Also, Pokemon that I can get that are further down the route. But I'm going to be used buying Repels, which I should just get Repels now. I'll work about that later, actually, because I don't know... Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to encounter. <laughs> and sorry for that sniffle there. I'm, I seem to be kind of congested. I don't really know why. Um, you ready, buddy? Looks very happy. I hope you stay happy, because... <laughs> Who knows what's gonna happen in this fight here? How about you? How are you feeling now, though? Very eager. Okay. Should I even? Should I even fight the? I mean, I should just go straight to Falconer. Hmm. Let's let's just fight the mini trainers and stuff, because another level or two shouldn't be too bad for us. Actually, that might be very helpful in the long run. Trainer Abe wants to battle. He sends out a Spearow, and that Spearow is going to get bar like jolted with electricity. I, I was going to say he's going to get barked at. The Kobesh is a fox. I'm not even going to try to think about what is a Jolteon bark sound like. Probably sounds very adorable. <laughs> um, so he sends out a Pidgey next. He also gets shocked with electricity. As you can see, they're dropping like, fl like flies here, but you never know. When Falconer gets involved, it might be a different fight altogether. Okay, that's one trainer down. You did very good there, Kopesh. Very good, my friend. Very good. Now see if we can keep that pace up and keep on going. Now I would actually like to have a stronger electric type move because just remembering Falconer's team, he could his Pidgeotto is probably going to be very tanky, so he probably can take one Thundershock and be fine. 
but in terms of like speed, I'm pretty sure I, I, I outspeed every Pokemon he has because Jolteon's speed right now is like 51. Uh, but who knows? Who knows what might happen? Oh, Wingle, this thing's about to get demolished. <laughs> Does anyone else not like Wingle? I honestly do not like it. I mean, okay, I had to. I used one once when I a long time back when I was doing my Pokemon X uh, web. Like I was trying out a wedlock, uh, and if you don't know what that means, basically like the Pokemon on your team are couples, uh, so two of a pair and stuff. But yeah, I, I had to use one then. And it worked out very well for me, but I did not like it to begin with. And it was... It died later on in the Elite Run... Elite Run... Elite Four uh, portion of the game. Which, I guess in a sense, that actually was a good place for it to be. Uh, killed that. It served me well, but I still just don't like the design of the freaking Wingle. Pelipper is... Pelipper is... Is derpy. <laughs> but I just don't like it. I don't like seagulls in general, though. They just... No, they're the jerks of the sky. Everyone gives, like, freaking ravens a bad rap and stuff, but, like... Nah, seagulls, th those things... Things are creepy. Oh, not as creepy as the glitch. Fun fact! I don't know if you ever... I don't know if any of you guys ever seen the video, but, like, there's a seagull that freaking ate a rat. <laughs> like, straight off the street. Like, a live rat. Just literally picked him up and just gobbled him down. Pretty gruesome stuff, man. And have you ever heard the things freaking cop before? Like, my goodness. It's creepy. No, I'm not one of those people that fear birds. I I like birds. I like I like all animals and stuff, but freaking I, I mean I guess they're not as bad as pelicans. Hmm. Why am I talking about this? <laughs> Very good question to ask. Alright, done dealing with his lackeys. Okay, how you feeling now? Are you still very eager? You are very eager. Let's look at your stats. You're level 19 now, so you should be 60 speed. And 51 special attack. Quick feet, boost if there's a status problem. I'm just looking at his stats right now. Like, not as just his stats, but also his moves. Uh, his moves look fine. It's just like, but what is a backup strategy just in case he winds up biting the dust? Um, I guess I can go for Krabby. So, if Kopesh goes down, let's hope not, but if Kopesh goes down, it's gonna be Krabby. If Krabby goes down, we're gonna have no choice but to use Kodachi. Uh, if that happens, I guess we're just gonna have to rely on Navar here, or Nabor. <sighs> well, we won't get anywhere if we're just sit standing here talking to ourselves. I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. Oh, we're gonna try. I won't allow such insults to burr Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Now come, scrub. Get these hands. Or, should I say, wings. Very expressive. Well. Quick attack. Okay. One. One down. That's good. Sends out Pidgeotto right away. Um, I don't have any setup moves, do I? Mm -mm, I don't have any setup moves. Thundershot? Okay, he had a citrus. Or no, that was a regular Orin. Use tackle. Does a bit of damage. 
He just knocked himself out of the gate where he could heal himself. Pidgeotto's down. So, hopefully it's a smooth fight after this. Chatot, that thing has uproar. I remember that. I know I'm overleveled. I'm not necessarily worried about that. If that offends anyone or if that makes anyone think that, oh, this is basically just an easy slap. Oh no! You've not seen my last run. I thought I was good with going in with the team I had, and um, other things happened. I'll just let you know. Death was, uh... Death was smeared all over the doors <laughs> before I went inside. Um... So, but yeah, right now, everything's going really smoothly. Um... So I'm not necessarily concerned with anything else. Level 20, person facing level 12s. Yeah! The thing is, you can never be too sure. Alright, looks like this was... Falconer, you were saying that electricity was a type that you were going to try to prove to people that is not something that takes down bird Pokemon. Yeah, I think you need to look at the uh, attributes again and actually look at what weaknesses are what. I understand. I'll bow gracefully. For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. You killed them all. Now what am I going to do? Well, I mean, I guess we did have a shortage of meat, so... Huh. But a defeat is a defeat. Alright. Take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is a Zephyr badge. Cool! Got our first badge. With that badge, Pokemon, including traded Pokemon up to level 20, will obey you without question. It also enables you to use Hidden Move Rock Smash anytime outside. Okay, I, I'm glad I didn't try to use Rock Smash. <laughs> By using a team, a Pokemon, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can be used only once. Except after black and white. <laughs> then you can start move using moves all the time. Uh, so that contains roofs. There are Pokemon it's gym. There are Pokemon gyms and cities and towns ahead. Make sure make good use of them. Azalea Town, you say? Isn't that the town where Bugsy lives in? Gosh, I hate that gym. That thing's a run killer. But cool, we did it. Oh, Professor Elm. What's up? Hello, Hebei. We discovered something. The details are... Well, I can't really say anything, but... We want you to carry a, the egg, that egg. My assistant is at the Pokebart in Violet City. I can't go there. Could you meet him and uh, pick up that egg? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You can you can only use that Pokebart once. We better use it wisely then. Haha. <laughs> He doesn't really understand that after I go in here, I can't... I can't go back. <sighs> well, whatever. I need to get repels anyway. Oh, hello. Good morning, Amy, isn't it? I have a package for you from your mom. Here you go. A super potion. Nothing else? That's weak. Um, okay, so... I will buy... He gave me a super potion. Uh, okay, so what does this guy have over here? If he has quick balls, that'd be nice. Yes, he does. Sweet. So I'll buy three of those. Alrighty. Um, okay, one repel. No, I'll buy another one. Okay, that's that's all the items I can get. The reason why I bought two is because of the 
dark cave. Not the dark cave. Oh yeah, my party's full. Heh, <laughs> I have to break the rules. Honestly, this isn't... It's a story plot thing, so it doesn't matter. So... Alrighty. So who am I going to move? It doesn't matter. You sit right there. We'll be back for you. This gives me time to walk outside with my beautifly. Mambale. I have to clear my throat, and I know it's going to sound disgusting. <laughs> that wasn't so bad, was it? Um, okay. So, give me that egg. He may receive an egg from the perfect. Hmm. Why her, though? I mean, I am basically an assistant of the professor, so I shouldn't really question it too much. Make sure you don't drop that egg. Or use it. Yeah, this egg's going- oh. Hello, hello. Me oh my. That egg must be- I see. It was handed from, from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take care of it for me. Is that understood? You'll never see this egg used. I'm counting on you. Don't do that. As I always tell my friends, never assume I know what I'm doing. Oh, hello, Faulkner. No, Hime does not want to talk to you. She doesn't... Don't talk to Hime. <laughs> I must say, I rather enjoyed our battle. I'll have to give you my phone number. It might be useful in the future. Hime is just out here just taking hearts and tossing them aside. Hime is very in love with herself, so she doesn't care for other people. <laughs> is that the is that the canon I'm making for her? They just like have a self a very vain uh, main character. <laughs> Oh wait, did I put her in the dead box? No. I just just one box that has an egg in it. Okay. Now we can have our Kodachi out. I got my repels so I can catch another Pokemains in a different area. 32 is a very strange route. It's like, it feels like it's two routes mixed in one, but it's not. Yep, that's me. I defeated the Violet City Gym Leader. Now take this. It's increased grass type Pokemon's attack. It's a miracle seed. I may or may not have been chewing on that. Uh, okay. Thank you for that tidbit of information, sir. Um, so use the first one. So I don't encounter anything right now. If anything, I want to find stuff that's further down. Wait, what does this guy have? I don't know why, but I feel like he has something that has weakness to water. I found some good Pokemon on the grass. I think they'll do it for me. Good? Maniac Gordon. A sand shrew. I knew it. He had a freaking rock type. Crabby learned rock like learn crab hammer. Well, why was that hard for me to say? <laughs> he learned crab hammer. Uh while I was training him. And now Onyx is next. It should take one hit. Yep. And we good. 
shucks, I thought I could win. Maybe next time, Gordon. Um, alrighty, so what would we do next? Um... If he was using rock, she might be using water. Although if she's using water, I don't know why I would use you to fly. Do you have absorb? You have absorb and stun sport. You should be alright. I haven't seen you here out here before. You think you're pretty tough? That wasn't so tough. <laughs> Lady Joan. Oh no, she has a Mareep. Oh, that's less than something I want to see. Uh, Stone Spore Mareep. That's electric. That's electric type. Ay 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 ay. Sure, I'll do it. He's a charging. He's a charging. He's prepping. There, she's prepping that special defense. Oh no! Bite it. <laughs> it's a critical hit. Mambale is a monster. Can you imagine how that thing bites? It's a it's a butterfly, so it has just like that that tongue. So I'm I'm imagining it just like pierces it. So it would be a critical hit. Just pierces right through the sheep's heart. That's actually a very dark visual. Why the heck did you just say that? <laughs> Okay, Driplin is next. Um, let's get in a bar. I'm. A, it's gonna be. It's gonna just be like this full run, depending how long the boar is with me. Yeah, it's like that. I'm gonna constantly be calling it something else because I don't know how to pronounce this thing's name. <laughs> but I like it. I like it because it's. It's just funny to me. Oh yeah, by the way, Nabar, or Nabor, learned uh, Hyper Fang while leveling up too. It's strange, I actually thought that it uh, evolved at around like level 15, but I guess not. You're strong. Why did I give everyone like a little sling to their accent? Okay, so... Grab this. Hey, another repel, sweet. And I didn't need to buy two. Well, I didn't know that before, so... Uh, there is that neat arena trainer up ahead. It should be fine. Umbali should be able to take her out. Oh, never mind. She ain't even looking at me, stupid bro. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I'm, you know. Pardon? Who am I battle? I'm on the phone. Oh. Alright. I'll accept your challenge. Better accept my challenge. Start throwing my Pokemon at her and just start fighting her anyway while she's talking on the phone. Rude. Stunned. What? Excuse me? But why? Bug doesn't affect poison type, right? Umbele is very low right now. But I needed him to take out this Nero ran because it was the, 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 the principle of the matter is just how dare you a ponyta well that definitely is getting swapped out I don't know what the audio skipping is I I really don't know 
Okay! Yeah, stop that. How yeah, how you like them apples? Oh what? Son of a dick. Sure, I well, I mean we both before I got serious. Whatever, chick, get out of my face. Oh you're a bit you're on a big journey. Let's be friends. Sure. I sure hope I don't need to have to use Beautifly or Mambale and grab you for anything right now. Uh, let's put Kodachi in front. And in this game, you don't have to really worry about Pokemon dying from poison. My repel wore off, but that's fine. I wanted to come down here anyway. Uh, let's see. This guy has the Nido Ran male, right? Hmm. You know what? Let's just get my Pokemon here. So my encounter for Route 32 is going to be a Mareep. I'm alright with that. Now things can happen. Okay, good. I was like, anything else I use is gonna kill it, so I'm glad it was able to stand up to that. Uh, alright, Pokeball, Goo, get this Marie for us. Alright, we got our Marie. Now, what am I going to call this thing? Probably something weeb like, so, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I haven't read a Pokemon entry, Pokemon X entry for a while, so like, if static electricity builds in its body, its fleece doubles in volume. Touching it will shock you. Shocking. Alright, so I will call this guy. <laughs> well, this is uh is gonna be interesting. So I am going to call this guy Foil. Now, anyone who is familiar with fencing, you will know that a foil is Basically, uh, it's a flexible rectangular in cross section and weighs up to one pound as a points the second foil and contract It's a fencing weapon, I'll just say that. I'm sorry. I tried to sound I tried to sound well educated on that part. It didn't work. It didn't work. I'm sorry. Alright, so I don't have to worry about running into anything else on this route. Um should I use a Psy? This might be a bad idea, but I'm, I'm gonna give a Psy some, some time to shine here. Because he's been going through some training also. I do too, buddy. I do too. That glance. It's intriguing. Stop hitting on he -Bay. <laughs> Alright, so Asai learned some interesting moves. He learned Aerial Ace, Pursuit, and also Sonic Boom. Now, you may be wondering how I plan to fight this guy. Well, obviously, I'm gonna use Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom does 20 damage every time, I believe. If this was a double battle, I would use Asai with uh, Kodachi. So that way I can say Sonic Boom and Yoga Flame. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Hit me with your best shot. Why did I do this? Oh, 
Oh, you're charging, huh? Well, okay, that, I guess that's fine. Oh, well, while you're over there charging up your uh, your electricity, I'm just gonna, you know. Oh, what do you know? Pikachu does taste like cheese. A diglet. Oh, but Krabby's weakened. A fire. That's fine. As the audio splits again. I gotta be careful with Diglett. Diglets are also scary. Bubble Beam is a special move, so it should be fine. Okay, good. I thought fire, I thought burn only affects your physical damage. This, uh, not your special. This is disappointing. You know, my father told me that. I'm just kidding. Hmm. <laughs> I want it. I wants it. We needs it. What is it? It's a great ball. Glad I went for that. Oh, I could have got an Ekans. Or a snake. Well, this is an interesting matchup. Now we're running. There's no need for us to fight it. Here's the thing we'll never use, possibly. Hello, Hoppip. I'm glad we never got you. Alrighty, we're on the way down this route and we're almost done. Cool, we made it down here. Uh, it is Sunday, my dude when I'm making this video, and uh, it may be pretty obvious to some, but these videos are pre-recorded. I most likely will have the whole playthrough pre-recorded and it just is up to me whenever I decide I want to upload them. Which is a pretty crappy answer to anyone who's wondering, hey, when is he going to release the rest of the episodes and stuff? Well, that's just how things are right now. I'm like so backlog with video games, man. I'm telling you. We like picking Africorns, I guess so. Ooh, lure balls. What do these do again? Oh. Okay. Africorns rule. They sure do, buddy. Sure do. Okay, so, um, Mumbali needs some screen time, man. He did so well for us in that other fight. He just took out that Nidoran, but I, 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 he got poisoned and almost died. So let's fight some fishermen. I'm really good at fishing, but I'm better at Pokemon. Why am I giving everything kind of like a southern accent? <laughs> Can I say you Texans sound super uh, sexy or masculine, depending on how you want to go about it. Um, no, stop that. It's 100% accurate. Oh, well, this thing is silly anyway. So if I was a fish out of water, why would I expel more water out of my body to in a fight? I mean, that, that doesn't really make sense to me because you need that water to survive. It's Pokemon logic, I know. I shouldn't be thinking about it too much, but it's just something that just don't seem right about that picture, man. See, in my mind, when that Goldeen did that, I imagined it like flopping on this freaking stage now. It's like just flopping more, and its eyes are just like really dilated. <laughs> Instead of saying Goldeen, it's like its words are kind of words to saying, help me, help me. Quillfish. Here's a really strange Pokemon. Is it poison or is it water type? Okay, thank you. 
I was getting kind of worried there, Mambala. You were missing every time with that. Gosh dang it, I, I had a feeling. I had a freaking feeling. I was like, he's gonna get poisoned again, isn't he? That just tells me that- okay. Mambali wasn't taking that. <laughs> he was like, I got poisoned again. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Mambali cannot hold his liquor well. Don't young people lack like fishing anymore? I could teach you how to fish well, if you'd like to exchange phone numbers. I actually want to learn how to fish. I, I have, uh, I've been watching a lot of fishing videos. And during these times, doing something to get outside is better than just staying indoors. So, fishing is one of the options. So I don't really have to worry about being around too many people. Only thing I'm concerned about is one of my fears is getting a big fish on the line and my lower body, since I'm not used to that much weight being uh, pulled, pushed, uh, pulled from me, I would go flying towards the water. <laughs> Right now, I'm very weak sauce. I need to go back to the gym and start working out. Uh, I feel like that's a lot of people right now, though, so I ain't gonna feel too bad about it. Wait, why, why am I doing that? Mambele, come back here. Who told you you could get from the freaking front? Who told you? It was me. Nonsense. <laughs> Henry. He's out of Polywag. So I was seeing I've been seeing a video pop up lately, uh, talking about how broken Polywag was in Gen 1. I knew nothing about this. I probably need to watch that video. Why does it always work when they use it? Mambale. Get up! Mambali, think about all the flowers you could be taking the nectar out of right now. Think of that Mareep that you speared with your tongue. Mambali. See a splash of water on your face? That should wake you up. No, it just makes you want to think about sleeping even more. You're drowning here. There's water up to- he's waterboarding you. This is a cro- this is not legal anymore. <laughs> you <laughs> need to wake up. My gosh, your speed has now fell dramatically. You need to wake up. There you go. Actually, is that true? Did the work? I need to look that up again. I, I'm not sure about if, if waterboarding is still uh, not done anymore. Uh, oh, I was about to say, if you got frozen, I would literally walk, uh, I'd get up out of my seat and walk out of my room. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what to do about you, my belly. Everything just wants to just affect you. Another Goldeen. Is it going to water spout again? Water sport? You know this time I'm going to bite you. Yet again, these are moves that have like, what, a 50% chance of hitting? Don't you hit yourself. Okay, good. I was about to say. Mbala, you are, you are the poster child for catching everything. Your immune system is super duper low. You need some vitamins. Let's get Nabor. 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 How do you want to say your name? 
<laughs> What's it called? Like? Nabor. Okay, I guess it likes that. <laughs> Whoa! You're gonna be losing that fish. Ow. It's a carp. It's a magic carp. A carp that carps. Magic carps. Uh. Bite! We're having fish tonight, boys. Oh no, it's a magic card that knows tackle. Oh, he knows reversal to oh gosh, he knows reversal. Oh what? <laughs> oh, I was afraid of you. Oh my gosh. Navar, I'm sorry, I I Navar. I'm sorry, Navar, Navar. Navar, I'm I'm sorry. I, I I thought you would have died. Oh. But then I remembered it's a magic card. At first I was afraid, but then I remembered he was a loser. <laughs> oh, that's gonna do nothing. Strangely enough, a reversal that hits when you haven't done anything to the other Pokemon still does damage. How? Please? Okay. And he's done! Sploosh. Kaboom! Sploosh. Okay, so that's every trainer on this route. We can now move on. No one died. Well, actually, no, there's still some more people on this route. I need to fight with Kodachi. My boy is just sitting there waiting for his turn patiently and I've just neglected him. And he was our starter. I'm sorry. There you go. I'll play with Nabor later. I'm just... Okay, it's Nabor then. Soothe Bell? Whatever we find that needs to have Soothe Bell, we will use. This guy is a bird guy, but I... Actually, is he a bird guy in... That badge. It's from Pilot City, Gen Pilot City. You beat Faulkner? That hair. It's from Too Much Jill. Saravia. Saravia is a... Kind of a scary one too. Burn it. Hey, finally works in my favor. That's actually a really good thing for a Star Ravia, because the thing, these things hit hard. They hit really freaking hard. And when it gets to a Star Raptor, I don't even want to think about it. Look at all that experience. Need a Reno. Um. Smoke screen? I don't want this thing seeing. More like a beggar just smacked me. It'd be nice if it burned it, but I guess that's the most I'm going to get out of it right now. Um, no, it's staying. It's 
Still waiting for that freaking smoke screen to kick in, you know? Just putting that in your face doesn't do any damage to you, huh? Oh, foes, thank you. Poison uh, smoke screen finally doing stuff. My gosh, I'm just. Oddish. I love the look on Oddish's face. Uh. Raise relief. If that was a crit, then it had killed me. <laughs> well, you wouldn't have seen this video. <laughs> Uh, I'm not that. I'm not that kid childish. I'm not that childish. Um, I'll let kid. I don't want to tempt it fate anymore. Kokesh is getting pretty strong, so I should try to not use him as much. The only reason why I'm using him now is obviously because let kid will most likely take out Ko um, Kodachi if I left him in, and that can happen. How much do you weigh? There he goes again. I know how many this is our. I wish I knew. Uh, all right, so let's go back to the Pokemon Center. That's every trainer on this route. Oh my goodness, and with that, I think we will have this episode be adieu. Because we've made it past Faulkner, and also we got down to, we got past Route 32. And on the next episode, we're going to be going into, it's not a dark cave, it's not the dark cave, but it's a dark cave. Uh, or it's a cave. What is this cave called? Union Cave Head. Well, next episode, we're going to go into Union Cave. I hope to see you then, right? He's happy, and I hope you guys are too. Take care.